Hey y'all, welcome back to the, uh, the series of songs that build me. Last week we talked about the songs that made me fall in love with country music. And I uh, told you about my history with my dad growing up in uh, an old eighties model Freightliner, learning about country music. And uh, you know, there's still a lot of those songs that I'm mean, gonna still affect me today and will affect this series as well. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, so this week we're talking about the second series, which is the reason that uh, I fell in love with playing guitar and the songs, some of the first songs that I ever learned on guitar. And uh, there's a lot of songs that I learned. I mostly learned, my first guitar teacher was, uh, his name was Rick Seth. He was out of Canyon, Texas, and he was missing, he was missing both those fingers right there, the two middle ones. And he played more instruments than I will ever play in my life. He played fiddle, steel guitar, piano, uh, electric guitar, obviously acoustic guitar, uh, steel guitar. He learned, he played so many different instruments and it was incredible to watch somebody like that uh, be able to overcome the circumstances that he had and, uh, and, play, and play everything perfectly. And uh, watching him, I knew that if he could do it with three fingers, I could dance or do it with five. So <clears throat> he taught me he taught me a lot of chicken picking, uh, which was the first little bit of how I learned to play guitar. And I was only I was in first grade, so I think I was seven years old when I picked up my first guitar and got in lessons. And uh, if it wasn't for my parents pushing it on me and and making me stick with it, because as a, you know, as a kid, you're you're naturally going to go, nah, I don't want to. I don't want to go practice, nah. But they would make me, and I, I thank God that they do, because here we are today. But again, you know, he taught me some of the chicken picking stuff, how to play uh, little old school, old, old town songs, uh, old hymnals. I would learn how to play them on, how to just chicken pick them. And then he started teaching me full chords. And, uh, you know, with three fingers, he, he showed me how to play them his way but he also taught me the proper way how to do them and he would line my fingers up right and uh we played all sorts of old country songs now one of the first ones i ever learned i remember i was i think i was 10 years old by the time i figured out how to play rhythm guitar and sing at the same time and i picked up picked my guitar sitting on my front porch of my grandma's and uh was sitting in her old rocking chair on the front yard the front porch i mean and uh started playing this song, I was like, oh damn, I do know how to play and sing. All right, well, this is cool. And that got me more interested and I started learning more and more songs and I stuck with it. And again, here we are today. So uh, that being said, this song right here was the first one I learned how to play and sing at the same time. <laughs> Lord, I'm free. Every little by morning, every 
together where I could play it and sing at the same time and obviously you know I was a big George Strait fan as a kid and um, still am today but we uh we started with that one and we moved on to uh a lot of hymnals a lot of old songs and uh I loved <clears throat> I always loved this song it was one of the first ones I learned to play I think it was it was number three or four somewhere around there I mean there were songs like Amazing Grace and uh so many other songs uh, that I learned to play as a kid, but this song always stuck out to me because I loved it. Uh, I've loved it ever since I watched Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? And I heard uh, Alison Krauss singing it, and uh, absolutely fell in love with it. <clears throat> and I played this song, I played two different versions. I played one version uh, in 2017 when I lost my grandfather. It was at the end of the uh, it was at the end of the service, and we were sending them all the all the grandkids wrote on sharpie on balloons. And as we sent the balloons off in the air, I played this song, a uh, a lot happier version than I'm about to play you. And uh, I just recently lost my my other grandfather on my mama's side this year, and we uh, yeah we buried him in I guess February. Yeah, buried him in February. And I played this song uh, in the in the middle of a service, and uh, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done. But I love this version. This is my own little twist on one of the first songs I ever learned called "I Fly Away." <laughs>
both my grandpas. I know they're listening. All right. Now that being said, I'm uh, I'm gonna end this song on a high note. I'm gonna end this uh, session on a high note. Excuse me. And uh, again, we're doing this all week. Uh, I'm talking about the songs that built me. Songs that made me fall in love with country music. This one is the uh, songs that made me fall in love with playing guitar. And uh, I'm a, I'm secretly a big bluegrass fan. I love bluegrass. Like I said, Oh Brother Where Art Thou, that whole movie had a uh, major impact on, on me as a young kid. And uh, I, I loved every song, I loved every soundtrack. I'm a man of constant sorrow. Like, so. But we're talking about the songs that I grew up playing on this acoustic. And one of the first songs. I learned how to play. I'm gonna I'm attempt this, and maybe half ass. I'm gonna attempt it, all right? We'll see what we do. It's bluegrass. This is a, this is a rocky top. Second series, the second part of this uh, Songs That Built Me series, and we'll be doing one next week, Thursday at 8. We'll be talking about uh, the songs that I grew up listening to at 16 years old that defined who I would become as an artist. Uh, cruising around in an old 97 Chevy Silverado bench cab, 
I'm in a bench seat, regular cab. Yeah. I learned a, learned a lot about country music right there. A lot about living and a little about love. Anyway, we'll see you guys next week. Thank you.